For as long as human beings have been looking up at the stars, we've been wondering if there are aliens in outer space. Well, it turns out we might be the aliens. Here's what you need to know. For more than 100 years, scientists have been talking about what's known as panspermia. The idea that biological material or even living organisms could have emigrated from one planet to another, essentially seeding their new planet with life from afar. Panspermia wouldn't involve an actual alien in an actual spacecraft. Much more commonly, it would be bacteria trapped within the matrix of a meteor, or even simply amino acids, sugars, or some other hydrocarbon or prebiotic material. On Earth, organisms that survive in extreme environments, known straightforwardly as extremophiles, can sometimes go dormant or even, in a sense, dehydrate until conditions improve and they can essentially come out of hibernation. Also, as one study that came out last year showed, sometimes space rocks can act as sort of warm incubators, with water and radioactive heat essentially keeping everything inside the rock percolating so that hydrocarbons or other prebiotic material can essentially evolve during their long journey in space. We already know that meteor strikes are common on Earth and they're certainly common on, on planets with no atmosphere. We also know, or increasingly suspect, that water, much of the water on Earth, may have come from comets deep in the Oort cloud beyond the orbit of Pluto and Neptune. They may have collided with Earth and essentially deposited their water in the basins that are now earthly oceans. In 1996, uh, Mars rock ALH84001 uh, made a lot of news for a rock when it was announced by NASA that uh, scientists had, had found what they believed were fossilized bacteria inside the matrix of the rock. That caused quite a sensation, but it turned out not to be as reliable as people thought. The rock still sparks a lot of controversy. Some people say that we've tossed it aside as prematurely as we accepted that it was evidence of life on Mars, but it did get the idea of panspermia going. So how does this make us aliens? Well, nobody knows exactly how and when life started on Earth, but it's entirely possible that the early prebiotic material, or even the first microbes, traveled to Earth aboard a, a rock of some kind and seeded the once barren ground with what would later become every species alive today.